to Studio CG 3D. Today we are going to be investigating Nuke 5.0. To those of you who are new to Nuke, Nuke has basically over the past uh, years been um, big news in the industry. Uh, originally developed by Digital Domain as an in-house tool and used on movies uh, like Apollo 13 through um, blockbuster hits such as Flags of Our Father. As well as numerous commercials and software enjoys the rare distinction having been developed by artists for artists. However, Nuke's job-by-job uh, -job development process was a great, was really great for a digital domain um, internal compositing department. It created more of a problem when it came to licensings, though. But you know, Nuke initially received a mixed reception as a commercial uh, commercial was released, commercial uh, software for it. Partly due to the it being uh, dissimilar, dissimilar to other applications such as Shake, Fusion, Combustion, and uh, it was just a little bit different the interface and then the approach to it. People were a little turned off by it, but since uh, you know the last few years here, that's been taken over by Foundry, and this is in version five was a major release to uh, this application. Uh, so it has a new interface overhaul. As where now you can just you can move the pane of the windows around a lot more easier. Let's see if I can click on one of these things here. You know, you can kind of customize it just the way you want it to, just on the fly like that. You know, and which you can't do in other applications. Um, you know, as easily as you can with this one. And you can also just spacebar click to get into any previews that you want. You can spacebar click to get in and out of the uh, GUI or over here where we don't have anything here now but this would be our our area where we can uh, absolutely manipulate the properties of our nodes <coughs> so this is pretty much just what uh, the interface is on an introduction level to Nuke um, you can press the R button if we just want to jump right into it real quick just a little quick demonstration and that would bring up our read so we can read from a file or you can also go up to edit and also there's another way to go through here but we're not going to go through all that right now and let me go to a file okay so we're going to go ahead and add in some 3d geometry uh let's we got everything in the right spot so um again we could press r on the keyboard and we we'll bring up our editor our um selector so uh, no i can actually go up here to there it is. R, R, R on the keyboard is a hotkey. Let's see. Let's go. Where is my file? So, actually, to load in uh, OBJ, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be, first of all, we need to know that we're in a 3D mode, which I am. You don't have to be, but if you want a 3D port, pretty much is how it works. Um, then we're going to right click. We're going to go down to 3D Geometry Regio. This brings up our file under properties. Go over here and click in the here, and we're going to pull it up instead of the other way. I think it could work the other way, but this is the way it's supposed to be done. So we're going to stick with the post to do's. Uh, do, do, there it is, there. This brings up right here in our viewport. Pretty cool. So it's just rendered right out of a software package. Uh, now what I want to go ahead and do is uh, now we can go ahead and press R, and we're going to go ahead and get us a, a file. It's a nice little file there, and we're going to go ahead and just take this link and we're going to click it into our file. How cool is that? Look at that. Hmm? Right into there. Perfect. And this is a 3D. This is in 3D space here. Um, pretty good with the image. Pretty good. Works out well. Worked out really good. Down the end and back. You can go up and down. You can see how this could work out. You know, this is actually part of the stage here. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and add in the operator. Let's go ahead and add in a another node. Um, we add in. Doo -doo -doo. I was thinking about adding in a color node. Let's add in Instagram. Okay, 
right? Get our histogram. Take this little link. Let's see if we can get plugged in there. Perfect. This is a little histogram. Um, histogram of the there we go. So this is how we got it. We got our image into the histogram going into our object. And this here is just showing us what 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 the values are. And you know, and right in here we can manipulate these uh these values, see? You know, can shift things over, darkening in the input range. You know, this is just all instantaneously. Um we can go up mix, you know, as you mix your colors and you know, this just actually just a histogram, but if we add it in also a color node we can do a lot more. And this can also be, you know, rendered out just as this. Just messing around with this a little bit. Let's see if I can get this where I want it. Let's go lower down some of this here. Okay. Lift that up there. And so right in here we can also add uh, Add in a few more little things here, like uh, let's go down here to paint. Now we got ourselves a paint operator. Cool as that. You could paint, do all kinds of things, and this is be really interactive. Let's see. If I was going to do that, what are we going into? We're going into our scene here. Let's go into our histogram. So, put in RNGB into our histogram. So now everything is flowing. Boom, boom, boom. So now we got our paint operator. So then you can just, with uh, the nodes, you can just paint in right into your into your software. This is just a, a setup, but then you can now paint within the uh, within the object. By you know, or you could choose color values and um, different things like that. So this is just an uh, introductory to um, Nuke. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll look forward into showing you other uh, possibilities that are with this amazing software.